If you want to avoid nuclear war, I strongly urge you to vote for Donald Trump. In fact, I would go so far as to say that a vote for Kamala Harris is a vote for nuclear war. Here are some of my reasons for saying that. Former Vice President Dick Cheney endorsed Kamala, and she said she was honored to have his approval. Dick Cheney was the driving force behind a group called the Neocons, which started the Iraq War, in which the U.S. launched an unprovoked preemptive attack, the first in its history, in order to prevent Saddam Hussein from threatening the world with weapons, weapons of mass, mass destruction. destruction. As history now shows, there were no weapons of mass destruction. It was all a neocon lie. Most estimates are that over a million Iraqis died, while the USA and allied forces suffered over 4,800 deaths and over 32,000 wounded. We killed more Iraqis than Saddam Hussein ever did. This fraction of our military and intelligence establishment that we call the neocons, led by Dick Cheney, faked the evidence of weapons of mass destruction because they wanted a war. In 1961, President Eisenhower warned the American people of the dangers of the emerging military industrial complex that would try to embroil us in a nuclear war with Russia. He pointed out that these warmongering elements in the Pentagon and intelligence apparatus relished war and reveled in it, including nuclear war. My uncle, President John F. Kennedy, confronted his own Joint Chiefs of Staff and his intelligence officials who proposed to fake the shooting down of an American civilian airliner and blame it on Cuba in order to justify a nuclear war with Russia. John Kennedy stood up to them and refused to go along. President Kennedy was shocked by another military proposal to launch a surprise nuclear attack on the Soviet Union. The uniform meant that the USA would win because the Soviets would suffer over 130 million deaths, while in America, only 30 million would die. After John Kennedy's assassination, the Gulf of Tonkin incident was used to justify war on Vietnam. It wasn't until almost 40 years later that it was shown conclusively to be untrue. The North Vietnamese did not attack our warships on August 4th, 1964. Intelligence about the Gulf of Tonkin incident was faked because a fraction of our military industrial establishment wanted that war. I'm concerned that today, not only do we have a faction of our military and intelligence establishments that desire war, they want a war right now with Russia over Ukraine. Russia is the largest nuclear power on Earth. It has over a thousand more nuclear weapons than we do, and many of them are better than our best weapons. President Biden came within an inch of giving authorization to the Ukrainians to use American-guided missiles to fire deep into Russian territory. The Russians, in response, changed their law to allow them to respond with a nuclear attack, and the world was never closer to full-scale nuclear war. Can you imagine if the Mexican army was being backed by the Russians to launch Russian-guided missiles into American territory, hitting cities, hydroelectric dams, and nuclear power plants. Would the USA attack Russia in retaliation? It would be a miracle if we didn't. Kamala Harris is inexperienced in foreign policy, and her belligerent and hostile remarks about Russia during her acceptance speech at the Democratic Convention were extremely alarming. Those words demonstrated that she would be a perfect pushover, a puppet for the military intelligence faction that wants this war. We don't need a president who is so weak that she needs to prove her strength to the American people by sacrificing the life of American military personnel and foreign engagements abroad. Donald Trump has repeatedly said that he would negotiate with Putin to end the Ukraine war. If JFK were alive today, he would be standing side by side with President Trump on this issue. My uncle said the most important thing that we can do is to talk to our adversaries. That's why he installed a hotline in the White House and in his home at Hyannisport so he could communicate directly with Khrushchev. A vote today for Kamala Harris is a vote for Dick Cheney who lied to get a war started in which more than a million people died.
Nuclear war today would mean billions of people dead. A recent study predicts that World War III will last only 73 minutes and that in that time, 5.8 billion human beings will die. And as JFK said, those who survive a nuclear war will envy the dead. If what I've said here makes sense to you, I urge you to contribute to help me get this message to millions more of our fellow citizens. The election is right around the corner, and the danger is very real. Please donate as much as you can today.